Good morning world. We've spent all morning messing around with bits of lavender and getting some vlogs edited. But now we're gonna go out and we're gonna go into the forest with Eden and we're gonna try and see if we can get some nice footage of the forest for our These Tiny Moments cinematic family video. As I said before, you guys said you'd like us to go less on the daily vlogs and do more of a mixture of the two channels. So I'm going to get out there and do some filming so we can stay up to date. The weather isn't the best. It's been raining, but the forest is in full shade anyway. So as long as some light is coming into the branches, we should be all right. We should be able to get some decent footage. We still have lots of stuff to do for the party, don't we, Eden? Yes, we have lots of work to do. I did not help you much last night. This is what happened last night with the pom-poms. Sasha and Jill did a good job of putting them all together. So we're gonna have to find a way to string them all up. Check this out. I don't know if we've shown you this before, but we bought these little seed hearts like this. They're little bits of dissolvable paper which have wildflowers seeded into them. So anyone can take one and plant them in some soil with some water and then they'll grow into little plants. We bought it from this company called growinggreetings.co.uk. They're really cool. And for the people that have been following our channel for a while, you'll know the significance of the word seed. When we first found out Sasha was pregnant, baby was the size of a sesame seed. So ever since then, we've been calling the baby the seed. And that's why we're doing all seed related themes and stuff for the party. So yeah, that explains that. The sun came out to play, which is good. Got some nice light between the trees. I have a sleepy lead actress today, don't I? Yeah. Don't want to play, do you? Oh, I am playing. I'm just... I'm my third trimester <laughs> and I'm feeling a little fatigued. Fatigued, eh? <laughs> We're forcing ourselves to get back on track despite the fatigue and tiredness so that the Tiny Moments videos are not too far behind because when the gender reveal happens on Sunday we don't want to reveal it in the vlogs we want to reveal it on these tiny moments so if it takes too long to make the video afterwards then you're still going to be holding on tight for the information until I get it done which means we need to work hard it's easy for Eden all she has to do is go on forest walks I got an email from our composer Chris Cutting who says that the music for the Mediterranean stage of our theme track has been completed and we listened to it this morning on Kamal's sound system and it was brilliant, wasn't it Sash? Yeah, it was the best one yet. Definitely, definitely. Spot on. Spot on, first go. Didn't need any revisions or anything. Yeah, I loved it. It was really good. So thanks Chris, you did an amazing job. When we first spoke about starting a YouTube channel for Baby, we wanted it to be cinematic. We also wanted to have some more control over the music, which is why we decided to hire a composer to do the tracks for us. And currently what we're doing is we're getting him to make us five different variants of the main theme, which we can use in different environments, like one exotic and Arabic sounding one. So if we go to Morocco, we can use it there on Mediterranean, European guitar, acoustic guitar sounding one which is just finished, that kind of stuff. So it's all very exciting for us because we've never ever done this in our life. It's not cheap but at the same time it was cheaper than us trying to license it through a company that had already made music so working with an independent composer was the best thing we could have done and I think that when we've developed the channel properly over the course of the year it will really stand out as something special. So yeah, let's get on with the project. When we're finished with all this eBay business, we are thinking of upgrading at least one of our cameras. Our technology is getting a bit old now, but we've just been using the same stuff because in Thailand, we weren't on a high budget. So we didn't really have much spare change to go and buy expensive cameras and stuff like that. So we've made do with what we've had, but I do believe that if everything goes to plan, we should be able to step everything up by the time we go to Portugal and make some amazing videos about our new life there. 
We are just having a quick cold fridge snacky lunch before we head out again. My mum sent me back with some food after dinner the other night. So we've got some shiitake mushroom pasta and a quinoa and edamame bean and beetroot salad. And Joe's just doing a cream cheese toast as well. Sasha has already run ahead while I was locking up the car. I'm gonna meet her in the gift shop and we're gonna see if we can get some more filling for the piñata. Because when the piñata opens, the colour will reveal the gender of the baby. We need the stuff that's inside the piñata to fall out at different speeds. So that's why we're getting it from all different kinds of shops. And that way it'll look best in the video. Right, we got the stuff to fill the piñata up. Hopefully that will be enough. And we are heading to another shop now to get a couple more food items and a prize for one of the little guessing games. But we are stuck in traffic and I have no idea why because there's no school, it's school holidays and it's not work time. So I don't know, hopefully it's not an accident or something. But yeah, we're just sitting in traffic right now. Moving very slowly. This bike's going faster than us. Yeah. And cycle faster. At least it's quite scenic here, so we've got something to look at. We had to abandon the route we were currently on because the traffic was too bad. So we've come back into London and now we're going to go to a pound shop to see if we can find some paper bags for some sweets. I don't know what particularly it's for. I'm a man. I'm not good at these kind of things. <laughs> I don't know how they're making on any money on all these products if they're only a pound each. Another failure. Oh my god. <laughs> they have managed to get a picture of me. That looks exactly like Eden, doesn't it? It does. It's not her though. No. <laughs> Just to clarify. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eden's got the chilled music on again, which is good because there was so much traffic out there we ended up just driving home without doing half of the things that we wanted to do. Feels very unproductive today, not a good feeling, but I did hear in the radio that the weather is going to get much nicer for the weekend, so that's a positive. Dinner is over. We had to take a little bit of a break from vlogging for a bit just to gather our thoughts. Sasha is now going to edit a video and I'm going to go out to Sainsbury's to get some bits and pieces to make cocktails and also some more decorations for the party. This party is becoming quite intensive to deal with and I fear we may have bitten off more than we can chew. I think I've said that before when Sash first came up with the idea of doing this baby shower party. She didn't want it to be a normal baby shower, she wanted it to be a mixture of adult fun and, you know, kiddie fun. So it wasn't just about women sitting around and having a chat about babies. So that's how the gender reveal party came about. And so that's why I'm going to go out and get some bits and pieces to make some summery cocktails to fit in with the garden party feeling. My mum has a ton of whiskey that she doesn't drink. So I looked up whiskey based summer cocktails and I found out about this one called The Garden Girl, which sounds quite nice. It's like peach puree with ginger beer and lemons and limes and whiskey. So I think it would be good for the people who aren't abstaining from alcohol. And that way, because the majority of the people there are adults anyway, everyone will get to partake of a baby shower with a bit of a difference. So off to Sainsbury's. Okay. Well, I'm off to the shops. Okay. See you later. Okay. 
I'm home. Shopping on your own is never a good experience, especially when you have to buy a load of things that you don't usually buy. But we're here now. Packing everything into a bag. So I'm just putting together these little gift packs for the kids that will be in attendance at the party. How's it going? Alright. Nearly done? Yeah. When that's finished, we're gonna drive it all to Rob's house and just get it there so it's in the right place so we don't have to drive and do too many trips on the day. Tomorrow is going to be very busy. We're going to be doing lots and lots of setting up, but I think when all said and done, it's going to be worth it, even though right now it doesn't feel that way. <laughs> Although I have to admit, I have been getting waves of excitement whenever something gets done. It's already 10 o'clock at night and we still have a long night ahead of us, so I'm going to end the vlog here so we can just get on with things. Hope you enjoyed today. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also to these tiny moments because that is where we'll be doing the actual gender reveal. So if you're not signed up to that channel, you may miss it. And one thing is for sure, it will be great to be able to say he or she rather than it because that has been very difficult over the last few months. <laughs> well, I'm already in bed, so I'm going to say bye to the subscribers. Bye, hope you've had a nice time and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Is it time for bed? No, Eden, we're going to go to Rob's house. What? Am I coming? I don't know, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Maybe I can come. That way I will not be so bored. Alright, maybe we'll bring you.